I figured I'd take a moment or two and talk to you about the various assistive technologies available for those who are blind or have low vision available on the various computing platforms. I'll start with JAWS for Windows. JAWS for Windows is, um, as you can see here, it says screen reading software. That basically means that it talks to you. It basically takes what's on screen and reads it aloud. Now, I would give you demonstrations of this. Unfortunately, the BSR screen recorder is not JAWS friendly. JAWS will recognize the buttons, but they are not properly labeled. So that means scripting is going to have to be done in order for it to work. Still on the Windows side, if you have some vision, you can use this. Magic Screen Magnification. Now, as of the later, the, uh, later versions of Magic, most notably uh, versions 10 and 11 or 12, um, kind of getting lost in my numbers here, Magic allows you to interact with JAWS directly. So you can have JAWS and Magic running at the exact same time. Now why would you want to do that? Well, let's say you're somebody who is, who is legally blind but at the same time has some useful vision so they can benefit from Magic some of the time, but most of the time they will need JAWS. The idea here is that you can zoom in on something, take a look at it, for the absolute lowest amount of time possible, have the speech there to aid you so you don't strain your eyes as much. And it's a really good thing because if you want to zoom in and take a look and make sure a document, a word is spelled right in the document, um, this is a lot cheaper than getting a braille display. The combined cost of JAWS and Magic would run you about a thousand dollars and most braille displays run from fourteen hundred on up to about four thousand dollars. So this is a cheaper solution, but a lot of times, um, you know, if you can't see at all, you know, you have to get the Braille display. But if you can see some, but you feel you would benefit from JAWS more than Magic, but you could benefit from Magic some of the time, that's exactly why they decided to make it so that Magic and JAWS can work together. Uh, they, by the way, is Freedom Scientific, the developers of both of these um, products. Then, if you don't care for Freedom Scientific, which I know many don't, excuse me, we have Window Eyes by GW Micro. That's this icon right here. And the entire program is contained up in a single menu bar. And there's also, um, it seems like, it's kind of like going from Window, it, going from JAWS to Window Eyes is kind of like going from Windows to Mac. A lot of people that go to the Mac have to have Windows analogies made for them. Well, JAWS is the same way. Most people use JAWS, or Window Eyes is the same way. Most people use JAWS, so getting over to Window Eyes would be a little bit tricky. So to ease the transition, because Window Eyes and JAWS have different keyboard commands, so to ease the transition, Window Eyes has a JAWS keyboard command uh, setting where you turn that on and you can use all the same commands you used in JAWS until you're ready to learn the new keyboard settings, uh, keyboard uh, commands, which if you think switching operating systems is tough, try switching keyboards. And if you need uh, magnification and you don't care for Freedom Scientific, here's a very, very popular option. It's called Zoom Text. JLS1114 uses this program. I've used it in a 30-day free trial. I like it a lot. I've been teeter-tottering on whether or not to get this. Uh, one of the really cool things about it is that um, this particular version doesn't have it, but there's a there's a version that will include reader features. Now, this is not a full-on screen reader. What it is is, um, if you want to rest your eyes for a little bit, let's say you've been on the computer for a while, and you want to have, let's say, this read to you, you can activate the reader and have Zoom text read you. Um, you can have it read you this text. It could read you your emails. It can read you your applications, but it's just a reader in the sense that um, it's like a supplement to the magnifier. In other words, it's not a full-on screen reader that you can run without the magnifier first being enabled. It's just a supplement. It's not a full standalone uh, screen reader. So that's one option. All these are on Windows, by the way. 
Then we get over to the other side of the fence. Take a look at Apple. They have all the accessibility that I showed you before, magnifier and screen reader, all in this single application called Universal Access. You go into that and you say that you need you have trouble with seeing the computer. Well, congratulations, it brings you into a list of settings, uh, voiceover or what you're seeing now, which is the zoom utility. Voiceover is the screen reader, and one of the pluses of the screen reader in, on the Mac is that you only have one cursor to deal with, and there are some apps, particularly in the open source community, that don't work well on Windows that seem to fly on the Mac. OpenOffice.org is a very good example of this. Um, and I know that a Mac does cost extra money, but let's take a look at this. JAWS is about $800, Win Magic is about $300, or Window Eyes is about, about $700, and, Ma and Zoom Text is about the same as Magic, about $300 or so. In total, you'd be paying about $1,000 for either one of these options that you get for free in the MacBook. It's already built in or any Mac, excuse me, it's already built in, and if you're in the market for a laptop, um, you would have to add on, in order to equal the Macintosh, you would have to add on um, JAWS or Mag and Magic or Window Eyes and Zoom Text for a grand total, and this is going for a cheap laptop, mind you, of about $1,400, $1,500 versus a standard MacBook for 1000 It already gives you everything built in, and you get a higher quality, uh, a better built machine. Um, because Apple usually goes the extra mile to use these um, more rigid components like polycarbonate plastic, the stuff that bulletproof glass, bulletproof uh, vests are made out of, which um, is um, part of the reason why it's so expensive compared to a traditional laptop. Then you have stuff that's built into Windows. There is some stuff that's built into Windows. This is one of them. It's called Narrator. The problem is Narrator is really bad. Um, it's not intended for full-time use, so you do need to make the investment in the extra software. This is the Windows Magnifier. Starting in Windows 7, you get full screen, but only if arrows activated, so if you need high contrast, forget it. Then we get into the mobile space. This is Mobile Speak Pocket for um, Pocket PC devices, for Windows Mobile devices. Most recent version of this is Mobile Speak version 4. This is produced by Code Factory in the United Kingdom. By the way, Zoom Text is produced by AI Squared. Um, I forgot to make note of that. Then on the iPhone, just like on the Mac, VoiceOver and the Zoom utility are built right in. And then finally we have Linux. Linux is an interesting one because Linux may be free but it's more technical and a lot of people who are who have low vision are older and are just getting into the whole technology bit if they want to so getting them on Linux may not be the best but for those who are, are willing to take the plunge and try um, just like everything else in Linux the Orca screen reader and the magnifier are all free so um, and with Ubuntu, it comes with it. Every other GNOME distributions, you have to install it. And GNOME is the only environment that the assistive technology will work on. But that's pretty much it. Assistive technology across the board on all platforms. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. 